Hello and welcome to the demo of Glyphix, an automated data digitization application which eliminates the need for manually entering data. Glyphix is a web-based system which can be accessed using a browser. We start off with a username and a password. We log in and we are ready to go. Now this is a screen that appears when a verifier logs into the system. A verifier is somebody who is going to actually take a look at any, any suspect fields uh, that Glyphix throws up. Step one to this is going to be scanning a document. Now for the purpose of this demo, we've already scanned a document and kept in the system. You can take a look at that out here in the form progress. We've got one form. It has been uh, scanned in the system and it's awaiting pre-verification. The processing status, as you see, is 59% out here, which means that there are certain actions that have to be taken for us to be able to progress further. So we'll go back to the pre-verification screen. The numbers that you see out here are the suspect numbers that the system is not too sure about and it wants a verifier to take a look at. We've got letters and we've got checkboxes. If there are too many letters in the system which are suspect, they appear in lines. We see zero lines out here. That means that you know we just have two alphabets which are suspect or two numbers which are suspect. That's what the user, that's what the system wants us to take a look at, and two checkboxes. We we'll start off with letters. So what we have out here is a comma. The system thinks this is a comma. However, let's take a quick closer look at it. Uh, you know, this does look like a comma. Just in case I want to see a magnified version, I'm just going to take a look at it in a large screen. And I can see that this is a comma. It has been highlighted out here as well. And uh, we'll just go with a comma. So I'm just going to press enter and I'll go to the next screen. But just in case I make a mistake, I can always go back and I'm seeing the comma again. Let's say I want to change this comma into a space. I just press the space bar. And what I see on top is that my comma has been changed into a space bar. This letter though seems like an R. Actually it's been overwritten. So let's take a look at it. It's park, so it's a K. A D got overwritten by a K. And uh, we've got to change this. So I'm simply going to make this a K and we should be done. Uh, so we're done with letters. We go back to our pre-verification screen. We've got two checkboxes. Click on this. Now when we have a large batch, this is just one form. When we have a large batch, we're going to have uh, hundreds of checkboxes uh, which are suspect, which will appear on one screen. And uh, you know, because of uh, the fact that human eyes are great pattern detectors, we can quickly see the ones that uh, are not check marks and we can move them on. So in this case, we've got two of them. Let's quickly take a look at it. One, uh, we see, okay, there's a problem with this. It goes to the unchecked section and this seems fine. I'll just go enter and I'm done. I'll go back to my pre-verification screen. I have nothing else to pre-verify. I'll go back to my form progress. And what I see out here is that the processing status has moved up from 59 to 75%. Schedule jobs are now verification. So let me go to the verification tab. So when it began, I told you this is a 16 field form. Okay, so this is a 16 field KYC form. And there are certain fields by default that we are showing in panel verification. They include first name, last name, email ID and address and any other suspect field that the system is not sure about. So we have these four and we have the mobile number. So the system is not too sure about 871, though it is correct, but still it's showing it highlighted. If the system was sure about this, it wouldn't have shown the mobile number. I think that it must be having a doubt about this eight because it's, uh, it's written, written a little oddly. Uh, so we'll go back quickly and we'll now see our first name. We can tab out is correct. Uh, the last name is correct. No, I just go back to the last name and I'll make an error on purpose. So I'll add an extra A. 
Uh, and what we see out here is the system is validating as you're kind of going along. It says that uh, a double A, a Marotra of the double A is not a valid last name. Uh, and I can go back and I can make the edit. I'll come back out here. Uh, the username uh, is not something that we have configured the system to predict. Email IDs are fields which include numbers, underscores, dots, and we find it's quicker to manually key it in. The domain, it ends up predicting. Uh, so let's say again, I make a mistake on purpose. So I'll, uh, if I write a M as an edge, I'll make this a sutra, I'll try to log out. And as I am doing the rest of the fields, I'm shown that this is again, not a valid email ID. I'm just going to complete this field. Goregaon has been predicted as Goregaon. I'll make a change out there. Row is fine. Mobile number is fine. I'll just go back quickly to my email field and make the edit. Uh, and if we go back out here, we can see that this is now a valid ID. Uh, so this is great. My form's done. Uh, now, just before I save this form, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just go to my uh, tab of show all fields to see the fields that the system is dead sure about and it did not think it was necessary to show it to a verifier. We've got the title, um, which is correct. First name, last name, I've already checked date of birth. Correct. No need to check this. City is correct. Pin code is correct. Mobile number it showed us because of the fact that it wasn't sure about these three digits. Actually, it was not sure about one digit, but it marks it in groups of three. Uh, marital status is fine. Wedding anniversary is fine. Uh, it's predicted it correctly. People in household predicted it correctly. Number of children is correct. Uh, all of this seems just fine. And now I can do a control S and I'm done. So basically I have completed the final verification, the pre-verification, since there's just one form in the system, the pre-verification tabs are done. And uh, if I go back to my form progress, it says no form under processing. Uh, you can quickly see the final results of what we just did. So this is the form that we've just done. Uh, P42, we've completed it, so we'll just quickly see the results out here. Uh, my city, my first name, my date of birth, people in household, pin code, address line. So if you remember, we had removed a comma from in here, it's now a space bar. We've got wedding anniversary, number of children, and get good. So if, uh, that's the end of this demo, uh, then thank you so much for your time. Uh, please reach out to us with any questions. You'll find ample ways to contact us through our website. Thank you and bye-bye.